Hi, I'm Dan from Two Guys One Beer. This week we're trying out Brock Street Brewery's Blonde. Uh, sorry about the blurriness. We were uh, not really paying attention when we recorded this one. Uh, we promise it won't be so bad next time. So here we go, Brock Street Blonde. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Chris. Yes, he is, and I'm Dan. We're Two Guys One Beer. Chris, tell us what we got this week. I don't know, you brought it. I did bring it, and I guess you've done no research. No, I'm... I'm, I'm this one's all on me? Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I'm interrupting you again. Did you do any research? I did. I bought it. Okay. Okay, so this is uh, Brock Street Beer. Uh, it is a uh, blonde. It's Brock, called yeah. uh, Brock Street Blonde. The most refreshing street in Canada. Nice. Which is scary because I work uh, at uh, my day job just around the corner from this brewery and it is probably the driest street in Canada. <laughs> kind of worries me that all the fun is around the corner. Oh, you should head out that way. I am. I'm going to go visit these guys and uh, hopefully they'll uh, give me some pointers on the blonde as well as uh, some of the other flavors they do. Let's get straight to it. Let's try this. Brock Street Brewery's Blonde. All right. How's your head going? You're doing good lately? Yeah. You've been practicing? I've been practicing. Really? What's his name? Ouch. Yeah, I'm sorry. You can't say that on camera. I just did. Uh, you can, I can. Oh, okay. Why? Right. He doesn't want his name known? Yes, that's okay. right. Okay. So, it is a blonde. Smell good? I don't know. It's got a different uh, smell to that. Yeah. Alright, well, let's give it a shot. So, you were saying it's just... Brock Street Blonde. Yeah, that's pretty much all that's I That's it, you're right there. That's why I would think about, you know, all natural small batch beer. Small batch? Mm hmm. Hopefully they're selling more and make big batch. No, the good thing about small batch is that it's small batch. See, I, don't, I, I really don't know. Go with it. Cheers, sure. my friend. Not bad. It's good. I like it. Lager. Is it a lager? I assume a blonde is a lager. Um, it's brewed with the standard uh, water, barley, hops, and yeast. That's usually how beer works. Yeah. 4.3%. It's uh, lower on the... Uh, yeah. Especially for a blonde. I thought blondes usually had uh, the higher alcohol. Which means you just get to drink more and enjoy it. Yeah, it it's a it's a good one. I I enjoy it. I'm enjoying it from one sip to the next. I don't even know how to explain that one, but I'm liking. I've said that before. Your thing is color. Yeah, but I'm trying to get away from the color and it being smooth. Mine is. I like it. I don't know why. Lack of head. Um, it is usually a problem for me. There, there hardly is any head at all here right now. Thank God. So I wouldn't give it a very high carbonation count on that one. No, it's not very bubbly at all. You can barely see any bubbles through the... It's a cold drink, so glasses. Condensating up. Well, is that even a word? Did I just make up a word? up. Yes, I think I made up a word. I don't know. <clears throat> I really hope we can uh, sit down with these guys and maybe have them... Uh, do an episode with us because I always love supporting local. These guys are uh, based local, in awesome. uh, Whitby, Ontario, and uh, it's tasting good. So obviously they're getting it out because I bought it here in Toronto at uh, the LCBO. So they're getting them out there. And now, did you know the LCBO in Ontario has just started deliveries? Awesome. And the, the coolest thing about those deliveries is that if if the LCBO near you doesn't have the beer that you like, let's say you want to try this Brock Street Brewery. Yeah, but that's the thing. It's not. It has it has no reference to the store near you. No, they, they were like five thousand options yeah. uh, from obviously uh, liquors and, and beers and all kinds of stuff. And it, it's going to help places like Brock Street Brewery and. Uh, Nickel Brook yeah. that we've tried yeah. a couple of there's these smaller Canadian breweries who aren't the you know the major three or four in in the country or in the world because they're also want to be taken over by American yeah America. so what is it it's twelve dollars uh, delivery fee Canada Post delivers it which you know what that's I think it's great I don't know uh, 
I'll have to ask one of my friends, he, he actually delivers for Canada Post, if they're too excited about it. But it, I think it helps keep them in a job in this uh, email world where no one's sending as many letters and stuff. It, it, it helps keep them busy. Nice. Uh, it's kind of a steep delivery price when we're used to, you spend X amount of dollars, delivery is free. But either way, for that person that doesn't want to either go to a beer store or a liquor store, they can get exactly what they want, hopefully, I, and, I, and, and, and variety. But I thought you could go, you could order it and have it delivered to your local liquor store. You can do a pickup. And you don't you pay that $12. No, well, no, because you're picking it up. Yeah. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm more into the, you know, if you're going to do it, I think there's like a $50 minimum yeah, or something like that. Minimum. Yeah. Deliver That's to fine. the door two, three days later. For some, someone like ourselves, we could order the next two months worth of shows. And all those beers that people have been requesting for us to try, we, we can actually them. try because we can just find it online if it's one of those 5,000 product SKUs that they have and get it delivered. Yeah, it's going to cost a few pennies more, but you know, you guys are all going to start donating to the show, I'm sure. Yes, please. Really? No. You know? We tried. Well, we didn't really try. No, not really. We'll try later. But, uh, yeah, let's uh, call these guys up. I will go give them a visit next week. Yeah, let's go have Knock a on the door. See what they say. See if they uh, even want to talk to us. But I want to talk to us. We, we are talking to us. I know. That's about all we're talking to. Yeah, well. Now nah, we got friends. I'm talking there. to you. And you. I see you way back there in the corner. I can't. My eyes are starting to go. But, you know, the beer is good. Um, I definitely like the fact that we can support a local brewery. Anytime. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have to be in the city of Toronto, obviously. Uh, Whitby's welcome to me. I, I work in Whitby. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, hey, all the best, though. Yeah. So, uh, till next week, we've got some special guests coming up in the near future. Hopefully. Uh, no names yet, we won't throw them out there, but uh, hey, I, I think some pretty cool people are coming to sit down and try some beers or stand up, whatever the case may be. Till then, cheers! cheers.